Hi, this is a video for the students in Theater Arts 200 about how to get an A in the class. And it's based on the advice given by students who've been through the class in previous semesters who are really after that top grade. I hope everyone is, because as I'll explain, in effect, everybody in the class could get an A, and that's exactly what I want to happen. My goal is to be able to help you to reach your success. So, first I want to remind you that this class has a different kind of grading policy. It's a policy about competency and not about competition. If you do the work, if you learn the material, if you are able to write the theatrical critiques that we are aiming for by the end of the semester, then I will give you an A. If everyone in the class does, achieves those goals, then everyone gets an A. It's not about who's the smartest. It's not about who's the fastest. It's just about you developing the competency, mastering the material in the class. So for that reason, you ought to aim high. You ought to go after the class A because it's really possible for every single student in the class to get one. So here's the biggest thing you need to know. In overview, our class is about going to watch the theater and to be able to critique it intelligently. So in the course of the semester, you're going to write three reports about plays, three critiques. And these are the centerpiece of the class. They are the most challenging thing, but they are also the most important thing. So draft and then rewrite. It's very important that you don't try to just jot it down or do it at the last minute. You know these are the big assignments. Take time with everyone and get it right. You're going to use Turn It In in order to convey these reports to me. Turn It In is frequently thought of as plagiarism detection software, but it has a lot more things going on in it than that. I find that it's hardly a problem for students in the class. Uh, I know you know better to play, than to plagiarize, um, but Turn It In also will proofread your paper, spell check it, grammar check it, give you some advice uh, about how to write the paper better. If you will turn it in early, and give yourself 24 hours for, for the report to generate and for you to make corrections, right? It's immense help. There's no reason that you should ever turn in a report that has any misspelled words or that has grammar problems when you have this kind of tool available. And final piece of advice, make sure you follow the format closely. I work very hard to set a format that is very strong provides a framework for you to report the kinds of things that are important in a play critique. So as long as you're following the format, you're clean. A lot of students get a little carried away, though, because they want to write a traditional essay instead of a theatrical critique. Don't do that. Follow the format, and you'll be OK. Maximize your quizzes. It is possible to get 100% on every quiz every week because you can take them an unlimited number of times. Start early in the week, take the quiz, look up any answers that you don't know, go back in and take it again, look again for anything that's still not clear, go back and take the quiz again. Do it as many times as you want, as long as you meet the deadline. But because of this generous condition, how can anyone get less than 100% on every quiz? Check in on I Learn frequently three or four times a week. It's an online class. That means we're not meeting face to face with me to give you reminders or to encourage you on. It's a class in which you have to be very self-motivated. There's easy ways to do that, which is simply log into the class page and remind yourself, let's say every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, what's going on? Just set yourself a regular schedule and check in frequently. I'm going to send out frequent notices about what's going on in class, reminders about assignments that are coming up, opportunities that are available, but SFSU forces me to send those to your SFSU email. So you need to check that email daily for news. Make sure that you read your SFSU 
email daily. Or, if you don't actually read that account, then forward your email to an account that you do use, so that every day you will be checking on it. Okay, so I'm going to post some information in the latest news forum about how to do this email forwarding. That will really help you. That way you'll have everything all set up. Finally, this is a class about going to and appreciating theater. So I want to reward people who actually put the class to use. Now, you have to watch a video of Hamlet and you have to watch two plays at school in our class. But there is an unlimited, hear that? Unlimited possibility for extra credit by going to see additional live plays and turning in a brief report about them. All right. So, if you find yourself falling behind or in any way worried, all you really have to do to boost your grade is the thing that the class is all about anyway, which is go see more theater. There's lots of explanations about how to do this in your syllabus and on the iLearn page, but just remember, there's an unlimited possibility. No reason that you shouldn't get an A in this class, and I want to help you get an A in this class. Go for it. Thanks.